Hey guys, this video is going to be about single-mindedness, and if you'll notice, this is kind of different from my usual scope of videos, you know, between philosophy or religion or uh, creationism, something like that. But I felt like um, this is just an interesting thought that I had, and uh, I wanted to talk about the narrow-mindedness of people like racists, for example. Um, they have this single view of whichever other race they feel that they're superior to, and uh, and all they've ever heard, or all, all they'll be willing to accept, is that one view. And so, obviously, uh, even if that view is correct, um, they're bound to have certain stereotypes in their minds which aren't true. Um, because no one idea or one explanation really can, can cover a full set of, you know, whatever you're looking at in real life, because real life isn't black and white, pardon the pun. Um, but, uh, but life is more uh, complex than any single idea really can, can uh, fully flesh out. Um, and, uh, you know, narrow-mindedness, you know, spreads among religious uh, circles, philosophical circles, political circles, um, basically any facet of, of life where there's thinking involved. Um, and, uh, what I wanted to talk about is, is how this, this narrow-mindedness that's so pervasive in everyday life, uh, how it shows up in, in single-minded goals that people have. And, um, and it, it's kind of the same scenario because, for example, uh, consider somebody who's working, uh, in an oil company. They're, say, they're the, the, the head of the company. And so they've got the decision to drill in this, you know, wildlife preserve, but it's going to make them money. Now, <clears throat> their goal is to make money. Their goal is profits and, you know, meet the quarterly figures. Um, they're going to drill in that, in that environment. And maybe there's lobbyists for the environment that are saying, hey, wait, we have in, like endangered species there. Uh, you can't destroy the environment just for profit. And the person's goal is just profit, so they don't care. So they, they go ahead anyways, you know, regardless of the protesters. And so, um, and so clearly, even if you're not an environmentalist, you can, you can understand where the environmentalists are coming from. You can understand, like, wait, these, these things are things we can't, we, we can never buy them back. We can't buy back species of animals that are gone. Um, at least not yet. Uh, so, um, what I wanted to point out about about th uh, this scenario is that is that whenever someone has this has this narrow single single point goal that they're going towards, uh, such as profits in in the scenario of a company, it is necessarily uh, intellectually dishonest. It's it's disingenuous about the responsibilities that we have towards one another on this planet. We only have our resources and that's it. You know, 20 miles up, you can't even breathe. Like it's, 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 it's all we've got here on this planet. And so, um, I could go into another talk about, about the, the way we should treat one another. <clears throat> but, um, to sum it up, I mean, we've got this rock and it's the only thing that we know is habitable. So we better not mess it up, you know, for, for whatever goal we have. And so I think, I think, while it's obvious that a racist narrow-mindedness is is of ill effect on him or herself and the society, uh, I I think it's it's equally clear that that people who you know perhaps uh, who, who are drilling in these these areas or or really any other scenario that 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 have a narrow-minded goal or a narrow-minded stance on a certain uh, a certain topic, it can never be honest. It can never truly relate to reality because reality, like I said earlier, is not black and white. You can't you can't have a yes no uh, stance for, for most questions that you ask, um, and and I think this applies to most realms of knowledge or experience or uh, events. And so, uh, yeah, I just wanted to, to uh, sort of bring in the idea of narrow mindedness and you know. Most people who are going to watch this video will be very familiar with the <clears throat> uh, narrow-mindedness of some religious people, or you know, vice versa with atheists. It happens. Um, but uh, I, I just sort of wanted to, to offer a warning 
that um, not only that people should should look outside their circles of knowledge or, or their their circles of opinion and and re really honestly try to see other opinions, uh, but but I I would like to offer the warning that if you find yourself with with a very seemingly black and white uh, view of the world fundamentally or you know in the complex nature of whatever views you hold, uh, be careful because it's likely that something uh, something along the line has been very oversimplified. And so you may end up um, sort of betraying some of the more basic responsibilities you have towards society or humanity uh, as a whole. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk about uh, narrow-mindedness and... Uh, I will probably be making videos not about atheism or creationism or philosophy because I do have other interests, believe it or not. Uh, so, yeah.